Okay, Virgo, this is going to be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week, and I'm going to use these affirmation type cards first. All right, so for Virgo, strength. Okay, and it says, this strength has nothing to do with physicality. It is the strength that helps a person, big or small, to persevere in adversity, to overcome challenges, to deal with pressure and stress. It is not a natural gift that you either have or don't. It comes from the mind, from knowing yourself, and can be cultivated throughout life. With introspection and practice, we can build our inner strength with each new experience. I am a strong, independent person Nothing can hold me down. My inner strength grows every day. Okay. Nice. And I am going to use this deck this week. So, let's see here for Virgo. And at the end of this, if you liked it, if you want to give it a like, that would be cool. And same with subscribing. If you want to subscribe, that'd be cool. I'd appreciate it. I'll keep that in mind. See, too many cards wanting to pop out. This week, this is happening a little bit more this week, like messages really want to come out or something. And every sign has a power color. And uh, yours is brown. So there are water signs, earth signs, air signs here, and fire. So the sign that stands out here is Taurus. I'm just looking at the cards here for a minute. So you have a couple of threes here. And the number three is about love and wisdom, good fortune, and celebrating. Okay, so you start off here with the High Priestess. So it looks like you you have that inner knowledge, but it looks like you're having, like, I don't know if you're having insights or psychic, or that you just have psychic abilities, or maybe becoming or maybe trusting your intuition more, but something to do with that spirituality and stuff's coming through. It says to consider your next steps carefully. Sorry if I'm, I think I'm shaking this camera. Sorry if I'm doing that. Changes might be taking place on the inner planes right now for you, at least for some of you. Becoming more spiritual or something. Next up here, you have the Four of Cups. So this can be either missed opportunities or missing the point. So I don't know, I'm trying to figure out which one, if you feel like there's been missed opportunities or if you're just missing the point and or if there's distractions, or but the card says to wake up. Some of you might have some fears or doubt or insecurities over something. 
that does say don't let self-doubt overtake you and that stubbornness can uh, keep you from right timing of things. So I don't know what that one is about exactly, but or if you're just, again, missing the point on something. Next up, you have the Three of Pentacles here. So with that, that shows some initial... Actually, you know, it actually it's it shows skill. It shows creativity. It shows being paid well for what you do. So it looks like there might be some collaborations. But it looks like you have, uh, you know, at work. It might be some working with others type thing. But it looks like you'll be recognized for your work. Or your talent shows that you have confidence in your work next up we have the hair font and this can be for some of you um, a card of marriage and or divorce um, but it's also about guidance and ethics and tells you to take advice from somebody that you trust, you know, somebody who you think is wise. And it can represent, all, you know, a spiritual blessing. And I mentioned it over here with going through something spiritual here. So maybe there's a spiritual transformation type thing you're going through here or, or something happened, you know, that because you have the Three of Swords here next, maybe something happened that's, um, led you to become more spiritual you know it could have been some type of heartbreak even could have been some type of sorrow or disappointment or something that happened and if nothing like that happened that's that I'm talking about then just as to get a health checkup if you're not going through some type of sorrow or you know heartache or something like that for some it could be going through a divorce here or a divorce has caused you to, you know become a little more spiritual type thing or a breakup doesn't necessarily have to be a divorce but it could be a, a breakup of some type but I do show like a looks like end of challenging times and that things will be looking up there'll be improvements and for some of you it might be travel or relocation And uh, if that's not the case, and for others of you, this it could indicate somebody at a distance. This breakup could be with somebody at a distance. Next up here is the Queen of Swords. So with this, this shows that, um, inner strength and that you're not emotionally needy and that you're very strong and independent and mature and usually can be widowed, some of you, or divorced. Usually, this it would indicate somebody that's, you know, divorced or widowed. But it looks like you're the type that you, you see the humor in difficult situations or at least that's how people see you. You know, they, they think that you're witty and that you can see the humor in difficult situations. And it looks like some of you are focusing on your career right now. And some of you might even want a little more in life. This could be part of this uh, spiritual thing here or maybe, maybe, maybe this is a four cards can represent too, maybe wanting more, looking for more in life. But it does look like your intuition is keen. Next up you have the Knight of Wands. So with that, it, sh it shows, looks like you're passionate and energetic and 
and again might be change of residence so it came up twice could that it could be a change of residence or a journey of some type now this could also represent a, a passionate relationship so you know maybe it indicates that you had a passionate relationship with somebody or that you know or it's I wonder if it's coming for some of you. I don't really necessarily see uh, like on cards that would indicate new love right now. But I see more of a heartbreak right now. I'm going on. Uh. This can also represent uh, events that require immediate action. Next up here is the Five of Swords. So with this, this can show some, okay, so it shows deceit. It could be a little deceit or, you know, as for some of you, you might be even in a separation right now. And um, it could be a lot of tension. And it looks like there may have been dishonor. Somebody could have had a hidden agenda, not being honest. Well, it's good that this end of challenging times here, the Six of Swords came out and that thing's looking up. So at the end here, I'm using the Lenormand, uh, which is a little, little bit different than Tarot. Oh, that one come out a letter. My goodness, the stars. Soul type stuff, huh? All right. A star card popped out there, which any of you, you guys famous or something? It could be, or they could have been with somebody famous, but okay, let me just see if I can get any. It looks like there's, okay. Okay, it looks like a new beginning. It looks like there's going to be improvements. I already mentioned improvements with the Six of Swords here, but this Lenormand here is, is confirming it. That it looks like uh, there's going to be luck. There's going to be some good luck, some, like I said, improvements coming. And things looking up. That's exactly what these two cards are showing. All right, you guys. Um, to see more, come on over to my... Excuse me. That is for TikTok. This is YouTube. So if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really appreciate it. All right, you guys. Thanks a lot.